woman is going to say the real Tarpley organization is something totally different. She might say uh, any any number of other things, right? But she's going to say Daniela Walls is no good. Tarpley is uh, is, is simply a uh, facade, right? He doesn't uh, really think or do anything. Um, not very complimentary. I hope you will agree, right? And, and enough to get uh, rather indignant about. Uh, so here's what I'm asking. If you get such a call slandering me, slandering Daniela Walls, you may be dealing with COINTELPRO. That could be somebody uh, expressing the views of the intelligence community, ultimately. This is a nag network that I'm not authentic. I'm not really here. I do not exist. Boy, I remember that in the early 1980s when you were told that you didn't exist. Well, I do exist, such as I am. So if you get such a phone call, you may be dealing with COINTELPRO. Here's what I'd like you to do. If you get such an email, please forward it to me. Forward it to Webster Tarpley at yahoo.com. This is not a secret. Webster Tarpley at yahoo.com. Please forward it. We need you to forward it so we can we can get the routing and all the rest. Where is this stuff coming from? Who is there you know, uh, preaching that I don't exist, that my ideas are not my ideas? So if you get a call, why don't you, uh, if, you're, if you're in a place in a jurisdiction where you can tape it, please go ahead and tape it. Tape a call. Get it ready. Get a little recorder ready to go. If it's an email, send that to Webster Tarpley at yahoo.com. Uh, if it's an email. And if it's Facebook, um, well, um, you can always uh, highlight that, stick it in an email, and send that on to me. And if it's on Twitter, do the same thing. You just highlight it, stick it in an email, and send it on. The email is the easiest format because you can, uh, you know, it's fungible. You can send it around. So the, another way to put this is if you receive, if you send in an ex expression of interest in the Tax Wall Street Party, UFAA, or just my activities in general, uh, you're either going to hear from me or you're going to hear from Daniela Walls, or you're going to hear from info at twsp.us, or it may be taxwallstreetparty at gmail.com. But anything alleging that I'm insane or non-existent and so forth, that can very well be COINTELPRO. It's almost inevitably COINTELPRO. So please forward to me the email, the recording, the summary of the call, the uh, Facebook, uh, the Twitter, and so forth, right? You can put a lot of that into Speakers Bureau at tarpley.net. Now, where, where does this stuff come from? Uh, in our, uh, let's say, counterintelligence phase, and you know that I'm primarily an expert in counterintelligence, among other things, uh, we're going to tell you this in just a minute here on World Crisis Radio. Welcome back to World Crisis Radio, already our last segment, How Time Flies. I wanted to talk about the Kenny Bunkport warning today. I wanted to remind you that we've had the U.S. on the brink of war 2007, uh, 2008, 2010, 11, 12, and 13. Uh, one was Cheney in Georgia. 2008 had twice. The Israelis once, Cheney another time. Uh, 2007 was uh, Cheney and Syria. 2013 was Erdogan and the Ghouta provocation, the false flag chemical stuff. But right now, let's get back to our counterintelligence uh, theme. COINTELPRO. Now, interestingly enough, despite the, uh, the results of the Church Committee and the Pike Committee in Congress in the 1970s, we still have massive COINTELPRO. And now it's, it's with all the impudence and self-righteousness of the 9-11 era. Well, I've always said, if you want to prevent new 9-11s, don't harass citizens. Put a mole detector at the U.S. intelligence agencies, and then you'll begin to find something. So um, if you look on um, the Internet, suppose you put in counterintelligence training or something like that, counterintelligence training, the more modern ones, uh, you'll find some things that individuals have put up there that they've, re they've recorded with their cell phones, or you'll actually see Official videos, or more or less official videos, 
quasi-official, semi-official of uh, homeland security officials, FBI, stuff like this. And you look look at this, and you got to see what these instructors are saying. And this is pretty pretty shocking. The instructors are doing recruiting and training, right? You might want to put that in your uh, search line, right? Search terms, recruiting and training. Uh, this, of course, is built on the uh, infamous Cass Sunstein, who talked about cognitive infiltration back um, in the previous decade. He's, of course, married to the humanitarian bomber Samantha Power. Uh, this is extremely unsavory, right? These are warmongers who want to make sure that there's no opposition to their warmongering. So what these lecturers often talk about is conspiracy organizations. They'll say conspiracy op uh, organizations are bad for the country and we want to get rid of them is the idea. We want to suppress them. We want to break them up, neutralize them and fragment them. So what are conspiracy organizations? Well, a conspiracy organization is a form of cult. It's a kind of cult, type of cult, led by a conspiracy theorist. Uh, a guru who is a conspiracy theorist. Now, uh, I've often said I'm not looking for conspiracies per se. I'm trying to find out what actually happened. Problem is, in an oligarchy, very often, conspiracy is the form that it takes. Less so under an absolute dictator like Stalin, and certainly less so in a completely spontaneous mob. But most of the time, it's going to be closer to the oligarchical one than anything else. So we have these conspiracy organizations led by conspiracy theorists. They're kind of like a cult. Uh, the conspiracy theorist uh, imposes his or her ideas on the followers. And uh, as the social bonds of community and so forth uh, get stronger, the followers reject other ideas even to the point of going into mental disorders themselves, if the cognitive dissonance becomes uh, overwhelming. Now, these uh, recruits, right, people who are trying to get a job with Homeland Security or whatever it is, are told, um, you have to do a noble act, a noble act. You have to perform a service for these poor people. You have to go into these organizations and promote diversity and pluralism in those organizations. So uh, go in there and promote many differing opinions. Suppose, suppose it's an anti-war organization. You've got to go in and say, well, maybe we do have to attack Iran and build up a faction on this. If it's an, if an economic demands uh, attacking Wall Street, you go into the group and say, maybe Wall Street is not so bad after all. Let's give Wall Street a second chance. You get the idea. So this, the goal of this is factionalization and chaos. Now, who is interested in this stuff? The standard method has long been you go to the edge of the organization that you're trying to wreck. You go to the edge. You position yourself right at the edge of things, and you get a bunch of malcontents, misfits, malingerers, uh, disturbed individuals, people who are you know, overcome by bitterness, rage, uh, who knows what, but essentially disgruntled misfits and malcontents. And you try to make that into a faction. And uh, if you do this, uh, you'll create a faction and then there'll be pluralism because you'll be hearing the other side of the story. Now, this is unconstitutional, and I'll tell you why. We have, under our Constitution uh, and under the uh, Anglo-Saxon common law, we have freedom of association. So what these people are doing under the guise of busting up conspiracy organizations is that they're attempting to take away your right to free association. In other words, to associate with people who believe along similar lines and would like to act in society to make it uh, to make it happen. So the idea is uh, th they then talk about how do you destroy an organization? Well, if you want to smash an existing organization, and this goes right back to Delphi, you create a similar organization that mimics the one you want to destroy, but it's also a safe haven for people fleeing from that bad 
uh, organization that's dominated by gurus and conspiracy theorists and all that. So people will not leave an organization unless they have a safe alternative, someplace where they can go, talk about sort of the same things, keep community uh, and have a social milieu. So this is now the current recipe of homeland security and so forth, right? And, uh, you know, we know this from 9-11. We know this in many ways. So here's what I'm asking, and here's my bottom line. I'm talking to those people who are doing the NAG network and the counter gang against Tax Wall Street Party and UFAA. You are acting against freedom of association. You are anti-American. You are anti-constitutional. If the slanders and the harassments do not stop this week, then next week, tune in and we'll have a slugfest because we will start naming names, especially if we get various things sent in, but perhaps even more so uh, based on what we already know. So we are going to um, counter, as is our inherent constitutional right, based on freedom of association, COINTELPRO, NAG networks, wreckers, counter gangs, counterinsurgency, containment operations, wreckers, whatever you have, because these are illegal. And of course, the fact that under the 9-11 era, this stuff has, uh, it has luxuriated, right? It's gone, it's, it's grown up uh, just about uh, everywhere. So uh, that is the uh, perspective. But now for most people, this, this uh, is not the principal concern. The principal concern is you should get in touch with me and it's possible. You make a determined effort. Uh, if somebody comes on and says, you can't talk to Tarpley, you have to go through six months of purgatory with a uh, with a desperate housewife lecturing at you. No, it's not true. That's not my organization. You make an effort, you're going to get in touch with me. Come on this conference call on Sunday. We can have discussions. We've been uh, we've been having them. This this is a conference call that goes back uh, quite a few years. So uh, that's uh, all going to be there. You're invited to make uh, to to come forward and affiliate, join the Tax Wall Street Party. Sunday conference call, 8 p.m. Eastern, a list serve, a daily briefing, um, the daily briefing becoming more and more influential, but needing more subscribers always. Uh, please avoid the imposter sites. Uh, we've gone through those. I'll probably try to post something about them. And uh, other than that, remember that unions got you the eight-hour day, unions got you the 40-hour week. Uh, so be thank thankful to the unions. Have a good Labor Day, and we'll see you next week on Global Business Radio.